Whether it's the city of Albuquerque, APD, or the FBI, all of them say major strides have been made to solve missing and murdered indigenous people cases. And now that work is being noticed. Julian Patas found out what's making their efforts so noteworthy. The numbers were a lot higher than we anticipated. In 2019, Don Begay with the city of Albuquerque says over 500 MMIP cases needed solving. In 2023, that number decreased to 78. Begay says over the years, time and effort went into creating relationships with agencies across the state. They didn't have to build it. We set that foundation where we already had the key networks of everyone that FBI needed to talk to. And the FBI did not hesitate to assist them in this journey. They helped break down critical data to understand how to solve those hundreds of cases. But we knew we couldn't do that without the partnerships at the state, local, federal uh, and tribal level. The one thing that we all have in common is the passion that we have for MMIP and having that data clarity and trying our best to bring resolution to families. As the city's Native American Affairs Coordinator, Begay found a way to bring together 50 jurisdictions across New Mexico. APD joined the outreach to understand how to solve cases like this in Albuquerque. I would say our communication has, has increased exponentially. Last January, the Department of Justice awarding the city of Albuquerque, APD, and the FBI individual national recognition for outstanding contributions for their work on something they all agree would not have been possible without collaboration. That's been the biggest impact on me is uh, communicating with some of the family members, um, whether they show up at Civic Plaza for a demonstration or they show up at an event that, that I'm also attending, but listening to their stories. They say there needs to be continuous focus on the families still missing loved ones. We've seen a lot of these sort of cases be positively resolved um, years after somebody goes missing. Everyone agreeing the work doesn't stop until families can find peace. It's leading to, to more questions and more things that I think we have to figure out. For KOAT Action 7 News, I'm Julian Potas reporting.